Hello and welcome to another edition of SpaceX News. Today we're going to be looking at the progress SpaceX has made on its Starship at the Boca Chica site. All the images that you're going to see are courtesy of Boca Chica Girl, so a big shout out for her, thank you very much. And SpaceX is making progress with their new windbreak, this massive grey structure with the scaffolding on top. There's three ring segments there that have been welded on top of each other. And at the top of the second ring segment is, well clearly there's something being welded on the inside that goes across the whole diameter. Could this be the very bottom of Starship and they've got something similar to the octaweb for the three Raptor engines that are going to go on the bottom? A couple of bad welds going on there. Loss of fusion, lack of fusion, that can be rectified. So what I think they're going to do is take the three rings on the left, turn them upside down and pop them on the bottom of the Starship nose cone on the right. That's a lot of concrete. Goodness, I have no idea where that conical structure is going to go. It looks like the midsection of a nose cone. So maybe that nose cone we saw earlier isn't going to be used in Starship Serial Number 1. That's uh, blowing a breeze over in Boca Chica. We've just had Storm Chiara in the United Kingdom, which has caused all sorts of problems. Blown a few trees over, to say the least. So I wonder if that's the tail end of that that you've got over there. Certainly we've had very strong winds over here as well. Or maybe it's just always windy in Boca Chica. God, look at these massive cranes. Everything is huge to do with this spaceship. They're removing the wrapping from the outside of that. My goodness, it looks beautiful, like a brand new kettle. I think that's a nose cone. And once again, the size of the thing, look at that. Oh my goodness. This is steel that's come wrapped, possibly from the manufacturer, or have SpaceX put that, that layer, that protective layer on themselves. And indeed, this looks like it's come pre-wrapped from another manufacturer. And there we see that three ring structure again. And this time it's got a cone with an open end protruding from the bottom because it, the angle of that cone looks too tight for it to be a bulkhead. I don't think they're going to be storing gas in that. I think that's the bottom of the whole starship. Amazing stuff. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for another edition of SpaceX News.